So this is how you determine refractive index. I've already got my light box set up um, to my power pack. Okay, the first thing you will need to do is get your block and draw around it. Uh, so once you've done this, uh, you will then need to um, using a protractor create your normal lines. Normal lines are at 90 degrees to the surface of the block. So you can see that. Oops. So mark a point on that. 90 degrees that and I'll just put my dashed normal line. So and then I'm going to shine in my light. I'll put my block back over there and I'm going to shine in my lights. Okay, now you can see I switch the lights off. You can see the light ray clearly. So I'm going to put two dots here following the path of the light ray and two dots as it exits. Now I can get rid of the block. Okay, remember this is shined in, the light ray is shined in on the junction between the normal line and the edge of the block. Next, you need to join up your light ray. Always drawing an arrow. Join it up at uh, this side. And then join up your two light rays there. Okay, then you can measure using your protractor the angle of instance and the angle of refraction. So my angle of instance is looking about 47 degrees. My angle of refraction is about 27 degrees. Okay, and that's how you'll determine uh, your refractive index once you've got the values for angle of instance and the angle of refraction. You'll need to do that about three times to make sure you've got enough results so that you can be sure that your refractive index is consistent. Okay, So you want to shine it in maybe at three different angles, maybe one like that, maybe one like that and maybe one like that. Always following the path of the incoming rear and the outgoing rear.